Welcome to Roy Orison Day here on The Jason Coleman Show. Welcome everyone once again to the Jason Coleman Show. How's everybody doing out there? Let me hear you. Woo! How's everybody doing back there? Woo! <laughs> we have our audience of two here at home in our living room, but from where we are to where you are, welcome uh, to once again another Sunday afternoon. It's our 44th new episode here of the Jason Coleman Show over the past more than a year, and we could not be more excited today to be celebrating the music of a true icon. I'm talking about Roy Orbison. You've already heard a couple of songs here so far, but we've got a lot more here still to come. You know, Roy Orbison was not a conventional singer, not a conventional rock and roller, and didn't write and perform conventional songs. Everything he did was a little bit different. You can hear a Roy Orbison song and you knew by his voice and really by the kind of song that it was, that it was something a little bit different. There was a lot more drama. He almost had an operatic kind of voice, which is why I'm not going to try to sing today any Roy Orbison. I'm just going to let all the, uh, the piano do the singing here for us today. And it's sort of appropriate too, because uh, these songs, if you've heard a Roy Orbison song and you heard a piano being played in the background on the original records, chances are you were listening to my granddad, Floyd Kramer, play those piano parts. Granddad played uh, really nearly all of Roy's uh, big hits, especially during the 60s, during uh, really the height of his career. So all those iconic licks, like Only the Lonely and, and, uh, and, and everything you're going to hear today, was my granddad, Floyd Kramer. So it's neat to go back and try to recreate some of those little moments uh, for you as well. And that's what we're going to stick with today is the 60s. Uh, for the most part, Roy had such a huge 
long career uh, and some great music. And, and like with any of these weeks where I've focused on one artist like our Elvis Week or Patsy Cline or Carpenters, I'm sure there's no way we can cover all the songs, but hopefully you'll hear a few songs today that catch your ear and bring uh, back a few memories for you today as we hit the highlights of Roy Orbison. So yeah, Blue Bayou was 1963. A lot of you might, and me included, might know the Linda Ronstadt version from the 70s even better, but it was written by Roy. And uh, also Only the Lonely, 1960, was his breakout hit. It hit number two on the Billboard charts, only stopped for me number one by Brenda Lee's I'm Sorry. And, you know, Granddad played the piano on I'm Sorry and Only the Lonely at the same time, as you did for many hits. So... Uh, his breakout was only the only, I'm going to play for you now what was his first number one Billboard hit the following year from 1961. This one's called Running Scared. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you're just tuning in here, welcome once again to our Roy Orbison concert here on The Jason Coleman Show. A lot of great music so far and still a lot of awesome Roy Orbison songs to come. So you know, Roy recorded most of his uh, biggest hits here in Nashville and recorded them with uh, a lot of the greatest musicians in Nashville. You know, a lot of them are part of the Nashville A-Team, like my granddad Floyd Kramer, but also Buddy Harmon, Bob Moore, Hale Bradley, Ray Eddington, Boots Randolph, Charlie McCoy, Wayne Moss, some of Nashville's greatest musicians, especially during that time in the 60s. And so you can hear granddad's piano licks, as I had said, on a lot of these songs on the original records. And so the challenge for me as I'm playing these songs you know, without a singer to lead the melody. I'm trying to play the melody and the licks, and some songs, it's really hard. And I face that with any artist Granddad played with, and I'm trying to cover all these great, iconic old songs that he had these really cool little licks on to be able to, to play it all. But this next song in particular would be really tricky to play Roy's part and Granddad's part. So I'm gonna try something that may or may not work, and I guess we'll find out in just a minute if it, if it did work, because through the marvel of modern technology for this next song, I'm gonna to try to play a duet with myself. Avery is almost ready for this next song, but not quite. So I'm gonna try to do this so that you can hear the melody from Roy on my uh, fingers here, and you can hear those Floyd Kramer piano licks. It's a song that I believe you will recognize. Here we go. Pretty Woman from 1964 with all of those Floyd Kramer licks that I 
tried to sneak in there for you. You know, and I actually shared the photo from the, uh, the contract from that session on my Facebook and Instagram a couple of days ago. You can see uh, my, my friend Wayne Moss, who actually played guitar on that uh, record as well and on tons of records uh, over the years, um, had that session card that I've seen over at his Cinderella studio recently. So it's cool to see all the original guys that played uh, that session, but just like anything, they were just making music, and and who knew that this many years later it'd still be a true uh, a true icon. One more, a pretty cool little Floyd Kramer connection, by the way. You know, in addition to playing on all these all these songs, uh, Granddad and Roy were were close through the years, and in fact, I didn't realize, but my uh, grandma Mary pointed out that one of Granddad's album covers actually was uh, the the photo was shot at uh, at Roy's house. Here's the uh, here's what's happening Floyd Kramer album that some of you might have had in your collections that actually is I guess right in front of, of Roy's house which is here in Hendersonville Tennessee actually just a few minutes from our house right here over over on the lake we're not on the lake but Roy was and uh, so yeah so all those groovy teenagers back in 1967 I believe it was uh, pulled up in the cars and motorcycles there at Roy Orbison's uh, out front of his house on Granddad's album who knew. So I'll play uh, a couple of more for you here, a few more for you here. Next up is actually my favorite Roy Orbison song of all time. Jason Coleman Show is only made possible because of your support. So here are three ways you can help us keep the music playing. First, 
You can check out my CDs and songbooks, including my new Simply Piano albums featuring the best songs from our Sunday shows. They're all available at jasonmusicstore.com. Second, the tip jar is always open at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash tip if you'd like to leave a gift. And third, you can join our supporter family. This is a simple way for you to enjoy even more music from my family and me and support what we're doing in an ongoing way. For just five bucks a month, supporters get private bonus concerts, behind the scenes updates, and a discount on any of my music. It's sort of like a fan club, but to Natalie, Avery, and me, you are more than just fans, you really are family. You can sign up through Facebook by clicking that Become a Supporter button, or new this year, you can join directly from my website with your card or even with a check in the mail at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash join. Thanks for all your support, and thank you for watching The Jason Coleman Show. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special guest joining us for our performance. Would you please make welcome Mr. Roy Orbison. Oh, well, hello, Roy. Say, so how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Wait, are you Roy Orbison? Yeah. You are? Where did you get that cool black shirt and those cool black pants? I know those Roy Orbison sunglasses. Yeah. Well, do you love Roy Orbison, Avery? Yeah. Boy, we have had a blast this week listening to some Roy Orbison, and I think we have a new fan, and he is ready to go, isn't he? I stay right here. You do stay right here. To play who doobie. To play what? To play who doobie. Say it real loud. To play who doobie. Ooby doobie. Avery has researched his Roy Orbison, Ooby and we're going back to the first. It's just only a song. <laughs> not a word, just only a song. Ooby doobie is not a word, it's just a song. And it's Roy Orbison's first hit back in 1956. Avery's ready to go. So here we go. Roy Orbison's Ooby Dooby. You want me to count it off? Yeah. Here we go. Sit like this. Can we see? You gotta get where we can see. Here we go. Ready? Get your fingers ready. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Take a big bow. Woo-wee. Thank you, Roy, for gracing our concert with your presence. We have so appreciated you performing for us today. Was that a good song? That was a good song. How many times has Mommy listened to Ooby Dooby this week? You think? Uh, maybe 200. Maybe 200 times. Avery has a Short new song. You can favorite. You to it a bunch on one car ride. That's true. One car ride. You get about four Ooby Doobies per car trip. Now, Avery, you have loved Roy Orbison all week, and Daddy's going to play one more Roy Orbison song for everybody. You have loved... Come here. You've loved Ooby Dooby, and what's been your other favorite Roy Orbison song this week? Ooby Dooby and... Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. That's not Roy Orbison. That's Ray Stevens. That was last week. What else have you loved? First Ray Stevens, and then Ray Orbison, did it. How many, how many uh, three, almost four-year-olds have their library that includes Ray Stevens and Roy Orbison? No, we have loved Ooby Dooby and one more song I'm going to play for you today by Mr. Orbison. It's called In Dreams.
What a day it's been here for our Roy Orbison concert. Thank you as always for joining us here on Sunday afternoons to make our week uh, a little bit brighter. Hope it's made your week brighter as well. If you came in late today on the, the live premiere, as always, you can go back and watch this from the beginning on Facebook, on YouTube, or on my website at jasoncolemanmusic.com. <laughs> what are you laughing at back there? And, uh, and as always, all of our previous shows, this is number 44 on our Sunday afternoons over the past more than a year. Everything's able to watch on YouTube and Facebook and website as well. Avery, what are you laughing at? Come on up here. And Mommy, Woo! what a day it's been. Avery, was this such a fun concert? This is such a fun concert. A fun concert. Do you love Roy Orbison? Yeah. You know, your great granddad loved Roy Orbison, and they had a lot of good times mm -hmm. together and made a lot of good music. So it's pretty cool for us to get to keep, uh, bring some new life to it, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> is the spotlight too bright for you? He needs his sunglasses. Oh, right? yeah. Where'd your sunglasses go? <laughs> hey, in the meantime, we'll leave you with our final song oh, here. No matter what music we're playing on any particular week, i got to play for you our finale song. What's our last song, Avery? And Dreams. No, that's what I just played, you silly. I'm going to play for you my granddad Floyd Kramer's <laughs> last date. All right. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon. Listening to The Jason Coleman Show on WSM Radio.